Hello everyone, I'm Jaybird and you're watching SJ Trader. In this today's video, we are going to discuss the new feature which is recently launched by TradingView for the Pine Scrape. So if you are creating your indicator or if you are willing to create your own indicator in future, these new features will really help you. So be in this video to understand how to use it. Friends, if you are new in this channel, please subscribe and if you like this video, please share among with your friends. So first understand that what, uh, what are the new changes that we have received. So let's go to that the notification side. Okay, this is the notification what I have received for the Pine Script Editor VSC. What is VSC? It's a Visual Studio Code. It's by the Microsoft. And here is clearly mentioned that this is the first version of our new edit. Editor comes with a lot of new features and in future also that we will be add more this kind of new feature that really helpful and will be a smooth coding for the pine scrape so be in this channel to see in the future video as well so now let's see that what are the changes that we have and how it help us first we go down over here that you can see here the first is command palette and the keyboard shortcut what are these shortcuts these shortcuts can be a cursor above below cursor to bottom line or fold zoom in zoom out also so we'll go to that uh, trading view here we'll come down okay this is the pine script here so once you come over here there are two options that how you can get this all the shortcut the first one here is showing that f1 if you press the f1 it will open up this one if not come over here click the right uh, click right uh, and then here the command palette this is the all the command you can have it if you don't want just go there then you can go to all the lines and all like if you want to put add add cursor above below cursor to bottom cursor to line cursor to end so on your right side you can see that okay these are the shortcut for to use for our trading view then once we go down the second update here is zoom in and zoom out what is this zoom in and zoom out if you have a number of lines in your pine script sometimes what happened that on the right side once you are typing then it's difficult to focus on the left side also or some people who wish to be a larger a number of font, like the fonts number so clearly see and type it what we used to do we used to do a, a screen zoom in and zoom out instead of now you can do only here just right click command palette and here just type zoom so you have a three option here zoom in zoom out and reset so i want to do a zoom in so you see that the number the fonts numbers are increased and the screen size also bigger bigger than the before one what's the similar once you click on the command palette and just put out zoom out right to the back to the normal one be in this video for the latest update of the color one this which is the best one i like it for this all the update okay so the next one is here once we go down zoom one we already seen here the dynamic parameter suggestion and the documentation what is that so when you are writing the function call a pop-up walks you through each of the function parameter and display the reference manuals last time what we used to do we click on the strip button here we go to the reference and then we search but instead of that it will allow us to only do from here so if i'm looking for any command which is the first uh, the character is start from m so if i'll put m that you can see on the right side right on match.apps match.records and the description also you will see that with the syntax that okay if you are using the match.abs there are another also input that you can you can use simple input constraint series simple float input these are the things you can use for this one but if you are looking for a color just example so you if you put co then you will see also color in color also are different different color that you can put gradient also you can gray green this this we will uh, understand more in the and later on on this video okay so now i'll cancel this now we see the next update 
So, this is margin one we already saw. So, whatever you put, you will get these details and it, uh, it uh, works on the library as well. Auto complete, what is auto complete? Okay, so now here you can see the align here the all time high ta dot m, but he, if he wants to uh, write down uh, instead of that, he can enter also. So, I am writing here ta dot, I am looking for CCI or BBW. So, I just come over here and just enter BB. So, it will automatically put this over here and then give me the series also that what you want to put a number of series middle uh, and the, the lower and the higher one the three series that I need to put I can put it over here and then automatically create the similar EMA also once you put on the right side you can see if I want to use the EMA what syntax do I need close 15 that means this is the EMA of 15 all each close candle okay error and warning highlight if you are a coder you know that right, last time what we used to do whatever we type there is no indication that what the whether we have typed code is correct or wrong so on that one only once we save then we find it but currently if i am writing here this is the code for ema 50 so if i enter that means this is the correct one but if I'll go and put here one more comma, it will give me immediately red error. That means at this point I know, okay, I'm writing something wrong, so I need to correct before I writing to the further one. So when I'll come back here, I'll remove this one, enter, and that is the correct one. That means if there is no line, means I have whatever I have written here, it is correct. So I can move further on for my next code folding by scope or custom region okay what is this this is is the wrap one you have seen in excel also when you are filter you have a drop down arrow similar here if you have a number of line for the one particular such as input table or um, you can say rsi or pivots all these you can combine in one region you can just type has region and then you put just over the input after that you go to that uh, the command palette and fold like okay example is here right so uh, i have a number of uh, lines so you can go over here f1 fold to see them this is a short video to explain you like double slash has and region so beginning you need to put double slash has region input like this one double slash hashtag region input here you can put anything input color pivots whatever and then the end one you can put hashtag and region and then after you see there will be a arrow automatic which hide and unhide your arrow uh, your lines from there so this will help us also the next is minimap what is minimap minimap is showing you over here right side your script so from here also you can jump straight to your the page which you are looking for instead of that you need to scroll down if you see on the mice here i have only few lines two lines only so my map here is very tiny one very small one but if i have a number of page i can see as over here also now moving to next one improve find and replacement functionality this will help you if you have an error or if you want to change your coding like currently if i am using a 20 this moving average but i want to change to that 51 or 50 to 100 one what you can do you need to find and then you can replace so once you come over here control f then this pop out will come here i'll put 50 so all the uh, your all the point script code wherever this 50 it will highlight you and then you can replace it with that it helps a lot when you have a number of lines in your script let's move down color this is the one what i was telling you that this is the best one uh, to help us to look for the color one okay for color one to explain you i'll do one thing i'll put the plot one so i'll pl put here first before ema equal so i can plot this plot ema comma color is equal to color dot black done okay so now you can see here the square black color 
So after I key, uh, key in this code, I want to change this color. I just bring cursor on top of it. Then this one, the another pop-up window come. I want to change now. Uh, okay, yellow. I click here, yellow. Then it will automatically change here. Once I'll save here, from here, all right? Save automatically. It will change the color as well. So this is the best I like among all these feature. And one more uh, feature I like is this auto one, the ta ta dot atr and all I can get. Another one is shape, which you see here. This is the shape. What I have used is triangle. So if you put this shape triangle up, then you can get it. So these two things I really like from this all the update. Other two updates, which is minor one, it's edit anywhere and safer edit editing anywhere. So friends, I hope uh, you like this video and you understand the new update as well. Uh, but just be in this channel to keep an update for the upcoming the new feature as well because here you can see the first they have stated here. This is the first version and many more in the future. So I will see you again on the next video. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.